but want to turn our attention to some interesting tech questions. First of all, how do you scrub your personal information online? Well, apparently it just got a little easier and Yahoo Finance's Dan Howley is here to explain exactly how to do that in our latest tech support installation. That's right. So this is basically a means for you if you've been doxxed, D-O-X-X-E-D, uh, and how to spell. Uh, <laughs> and essentially what it is is uh, uh, the ability to take some of your stuff offline. Now, it's not going to take anything off of outside websites. This is specifically about Google's search. So if you have someone who has something online about you or perhaps some uh, of your information leaked online somehow, uh, your credit card information, your phone number, uh, things like that, you would need to contact that website first and then go to Google. But in the instance of Google, what you'll need to do is actually go to support.google.com. And then what you can do in that search box at the top of the screen is look for remove personally identifiable information. Now, once you do that search, you're going to get uh, a response box that explains what that will allow you to do. It'll basically say uh, you can remove your uh, personal information from Google here, click that box, and then you'll end up seeing this super long document saying, you know, essentially what I just said, that you need to go to a, the, the other website that may be hosting your information, get in touch with them, uh, that uh, it's up to Google whether or not they will res uh, reply to your request to have information taken down. Uh, if it's something that is newsworthy uh, or worth being in public circles, say you are a politician and committed a crime, Google's not going to take that down. But chances are you're not a politician committing a crime. I hope not. Uh, so what you do is you go through uh, to that dialog box, and then you'll be able to click what you want removed, whether that's uh, your uh, medical history. Sometimes that leaks online. Whether it's your physical address, your email address, your uh, credit card information, things along those lines. You go through, you select what you want taken down, and then you're going to have to have a little bit of evidence to back that up. So you'll need a screenshot of where it is online. You'll also need to provide information proving you are who you are, uh, and then you'll be able to submit it. Google will then go ahead, review your submission, and then take it down if it has to come down. If it's not, and they judge that it's part of the public good for it to be up there, then they'll leave it. But that's an easy way to take down some of your private data. And I know this is an issue uh, that a number of people may be dealing with, especially as we see more leaks uh, about personal data online. So you're kind of taking it to a jury, right? Because yes. they determine that. I mean, why do that now, though? And I, and I wonder if that speaks to just how much reputation goes straight off of Google. I mean, if you're looking for a job, chances are that person's going to Google your name right away and mm -hmm. see what pops up. Right, exactly. And so if you're looking for a job or if you've had any issues where you've seen your information leak online or it's been leaked online through a hack or something like that, this is a way to kind of take control of that back. And look, if you have uh, documents, people uh, may have scanned documents and uploaded it somewhere, or uh, and then it leaked online. That's something else that you can take down. It's, it's things that you don't necessarily want on the internet, easily searchable. Now, if you don't contact that uh, website that's hosting it, because chances are it's a website that's hosting it, Google will still be able to take it out of their search, but you still need to contact Quickly, the site. how long does that process take if you were trying to put this appeal in? And it's up to Google, honestly. They're going to go through it. I would say probably at least a month, maybe, mm. uh, or up to a month, something along those lines. But why now? I think it really just comes down to the amount of hacks that have been happening right. for people. Uh, and we've gotten to the point where they're allowing people to go ahead and have this taken down. So I think that that's really the reason why if you are in that position, you know, our lives obviously are much more online than they ever have been, especially with yeah. working from home. This is the way to take that back. Yeah, good tips there. Yeah, finance is Dan Howley. Thanks so much.